Alright guys, what's up? It is Keo here, and I'm bringing you another After Effects tutorial. I know it hasn't been that long since my last one, but um... Anyways, I was just bored, so I decided to upload this, just to keep my channel a bit active. But um, this is going to be two actual, this is going to be two different things actually. This is going to be how to apply overlays to an After Effects composition and how to mask, um, which can be helpful. So let's just get right on to it. So, so let me just open up After Effects. And I do all this in After Effects CC, which is a 2013 version, I guess you can say. So I'm just going to import a simple cinematic. Um, this is called number one. Oh, please God, tell me, don't tell me that my game, that my After Effects just froze. Oh, my God. There. So this is the, this is the clip. The cinematic on Vertigo. It's a pretty nasty clip, if I do say so myself. It's nice, it's a nice, um, nice, really smooth. You go through, you can put some text in this little tunnel. To put some text in the sky here. But if you watched my last tutorial on how to motion track in this, um, the problem is it's see it's seeable through walls. So if if you put the text in the little thing in the tunnel over here, you'd be able to see the text through this wall. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. This will be this will be part one of the video. So I'm just gonna I guess you can say I'm just gonna fast forward this part just to because just need to track the camera. So I'm just going to fast forward this, and I'll be back when everything's done. Alright, so we are back now. So I just made my text high with a little happy face. Um, so this is what it's going to look like in After Effects. As you can see, right here, you can see it through the wall. And it's, that's super annoying, because then it's like... Ugh, it just looks really terrible. So there's a way to fix this. So if you have, a, if you have this version of After Effects, this also works in... Uh, CS6, I'm pretty sure, and CS5, but uh, for only for the motion tracking, it's the CS, CC. So you're gonna have this little pen tool. You can just click a G, and so which tool we want to do is trace the outline of the wall, just like this. Then I think, but you're probably asking me, wow, okay, that did not do jack shit. But that's okay, because now in your cinematic section, you're gonna want to click. You're going to want to go down here, and there will be a bunch of options. You want to click on masks. That's what we're doing. You want to change this to subtract, and boom. It's gone. But now this is where the part gets very annoying. Uh, let's see what do I have to do now. Oh, yes. Now you have to click down masks. Click down masks again. Now click this little timer thing on masks path, which creates key keyframes every time you stop so every time you move forward and the text becomes visible again like right here you're gonna have oh yeah you're gonna have to drag the mask back and then you're gonna have to do this for the entire cinematic which is freaking annoying that right there you can see a little tiny bit of it and you can just keep going oh that's not good hold on let's go back here Let's just bring this up a little bit, just like that. So now the H is hidden behind the wall. That's exactly what we want. So in the cinematic, we'll play through. And now, once it gets about here, you just want to mono move it far away so it's no longer in a blocking distance of the H. Just check that. I lied. You want to move it? Farther away again. Move it high, actually. So, so then if you notice from the beginning, it, every all these little triangle things mean that it's been 
keyframe, and then it will then the mask will stay put. As you can see, as you scroll through the cinematic, no text is visible unless you want it to be. Then you just render out normally, and if I wanted the text to be appear like how I said before, um, basically what you would do is you uh, bring your text over here. Then you create a new mask. So just you just go back to the pen tool and make it again, add it, make it to subtract, then drag it over. But then that'd be hard because you have to go through the entire cinematic and just cover it up every single time, every single time, again and again and again and again. But that can get really, really annoying. Well, anyways, thanks for watching this part. Um, I'll be back soon for another tutorial on how to do cool overlays in the composition or cinematic. All right, we are back here. Hold on, I just lost it. There it is. We're back here, and this is going to be on a how to overlay. So this is just a, cine a little cinematic that I did. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's actually a bit messy. Uh, where did I put it? So I just need to take all, away all these keyframes because it looks god awful. I tried to do like the, flip, like the tilt effect thing, but it didn't really work that well. So I'm going to have to redo it. But anyway, it's nothing about that. This is just a uh, simple cinematic keyboard and doing like an apex kind of edit thing because you put like down a downloadable clip so I just did that um, so I this clip may look a bit weird because I have a color correction on I'm probably going to change that uh, actually you know what uh, actually I also have um, optical flare in the corner if you guys want I can make a new video or a different video on how to get those for After Effects but anyways, um, you can go on YouTube and look up um, co or overlays. So I just uh, I just got this pat thing. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. So what's good overlay? What else go to my finder here? Uh, what does this one look like? Yeah, it's too bright. Uh, this one nope mm, maybe I think the one that I wanted to use was 37 was it 41 something to do with sparks no that's freaking weird ah this one 48 Kind of like a rain shower of like sparks, so I just, I'm just gonna import this. Got that? I can't do that. Import file. Which one was it? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Open. So it just goes up here. I'm just gonna drag it on top, and now. This so I have to mess around with the mode a bit. Um, I like to put on add. So now, as you can see, it's kind of like sparks flying everywhere in the cinematic. Which could look, I guess this looks, it doesn't look that bad. And it's cool because as the cinematic plays, the sparks move because it's also its own video. So that's how to add overlays. Um, I will put a link in the description to this pack. I didn't make it. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been Kyo, and I am sending out later.